uh, we have been uh, 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 we have been listening to Dr. Nirmal in various international conferences, and what we find that he has done innovative work. It's really nice to have him today as the speaker. So I would request Dr. Nirmal to please go ahead with his presentation. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, respected chairperson. Um, and thank you, ma'am, for that introduction. You just said Chela told me that it's okay. I welcome you all uh, to this uh, audiovisual session. And uh, what this time around, our team we have decided we had decided that uh, in the conferences when you present text and literatures and studies, it becomes very monotonous. So we are trying to give you different flavor by presenting audio and I am sure you will enjoy it. Uh, I would like to make it a very interactive session and I will talk briefly about the background and some historical aspect of the university. According to a survey done by World Health Organization, Patients with mental and behavioral problems suffer more due to discrimination and stigma than the illness per se. If we go back to the history of any illness, when first recognized, it goes through a phase of stigmas and discrimination akin to any mental and behavioral disorders. We can take examples of recent COVID-19 or age old leprosy, typhoid, cholera, malaria, etc. etc. We have heard the news of people being sunned during recent pandemics worldwide as well as in our country. There was a very um, a disturbing case in Chitong itself where one of the doctors was really, um, I think I would say, traumatized because of this thing. When doctors in Nepal contracted COVID-19, their houses were called on by the neighbors to the point of a social boycott. Health workers working day and night during the pandemic were denied rooms where they were living by the tenants. And uh, I quoted some of the studies in the bottom. Uh, I think that was a cry for help. The study was about attacks against healthcare professionals must stop, especially as the world fight for fights COVID-19. It was in Lancet. Another Lancet article says, I am afraid to be a nurse. That was in the context of serving COVID-19 patients during the pandemic. So, uh, but if we go to think about what, is, what happens to men, uh, mental disorders. Except for mental and behavioral disorders, other illnesses like I quoted earlier, over time gets acceptance in the society. Discrimination and stigma, though is a global phenomena, it is even more in countries like Nepal. What is more concerning is not only in general public, Stigma is present even among the medicals, even among the fraternity. That is the most, most painful part. I find opportunity in that. So in this awareness video, we have tried to raise the point that with proper treatment, patients with depression or any mental and behavioral disorders can recover and lead a normal life in the community. And the maker of this musical dedicate it to all the beautiful minds who are stigmatized and discriminated by the so-called sane minds. Uh, I think we can, we can go for the video. Huh? Gracias. 
The concept, uh, the presentation, the story, and your book, uh, it was amazing. And I believe that like, uh, along with our regular clinical work and growing enthusiasm in research, these sort of things are very important and we should reach into our community to reduce stigma and discrimination and to raise awareness in our society as you have mentioned. Like in our part of the world, these things matter more than the other part of the world and it is very much necessary that we leave our um, OPD rooms and try to communicate with the community uh, utilizing various sorts of media and audio uh, uh, mediums. So thank you Dr. Nirma. Uh, and then the floor is open for any questions, suggestions and comments. Uh, this has been a very good motivational presentation highlighting how a patient who is depressed and suicidal uh, gets completely recovered. And uh, this will go a long way in removing the idea that many people think that psychiatric patients can never be cured. So I think it is a very innovative work done by uh, Dr. Nirmal. I uh, think uh, uh, if there are any comments we can ask the speakers. Any other comments? Somebody is speechless, you know, yeah.